welcome back to 5 Day Crypto. My name is Chase. Today is Thursday, February 25th of 2021. And today we're going to look at Cardano, number five ring coin currently. Uh, $1.13 moving on up, up 7% in the past 24 hours. Market cap's looking good at $35 billion. Uh, Cardano did not get the message that the rest of the market's moving down. Maybe it's starting to decouple and not giving a, you know what, so $1.13, we're up a modest 228% in the month of February. This is on the monthly chart, so this is a big time frame. So check that out. Looking mighty fine. Go down to the weekly. Still looking pretty good, huh? So currently above the moving averages, our 21-week moving average, current price is still up over almost 160%. Quite strong. Most, most coins are up a little bit, but not quite that much. So let's drop down a little bit more so we can get a better picture of what's going on here. So on the daily chart, these are our moving averages, our 21 day, 50 day, 100 and 200. Uh, as you can see, we've tested it a couple times back in the past few days. And now we seem to be moving back up again. Now, once we clear this previous local top, about a dollar 20 area, then we could be moving towards our current all-time high, which is right at this level, about a dollar forty. Uh, Cardano last hit that back in 2018, kind of the end of the end of the bull run, start of the bear market. So this is where we want to get back to. If we clear this, then we're in price discovery mode, and who knows? There's nowhere to really predict where we're going because we've never been there before. We're in the final frontier, so to speak. So we're moving back up. First level here, $1.20. Once we clear that, I would expect to go straight to here. And if we can clear this resistance line, which it will act as a resistance because it's an all-time high. So maybe we play around with that for a few days or a week or whatever. But so far, Cardano is looking like one of the stronger coins. So we'll keep an eye on this. Now let's drop down to the four hour and see if we can see anything going on so currently look at the move we're starting to do here if you notice the moving average is starting to curve back up that's a good sign if you want to drop down a little bit more and let's say let's look at the one hour zoom in on this and see if we can get anything else out of this notice back here look at your moving averages after they get tangled up they start sorting out and then you can get back on your merry way. And then you look at this. You start crossing again. You never want to cross the streams. What you want to do if you come down is get a bounce. Look at this here. So it didn't quite cross and it bounced up. And then that's exactly what you want to see. You want to see it go into your 50 day and bounce away from it. You don't want to start crossing. So look where we are now. See, we got tangled up in this area we're starting to get cleared up again and bigger separation equals bigger moves so that's what we're looking for on the short term and then we we know we're alarmed long term dollar 40 first we gotta clear the dollar 20 level so that's what we're watching for if you're new here we make 10 new videos a week roughly do some live streams every week so join us follow us we have a twitter and telegram located in the description below so check us out there. I publish a lot of good stuff there that I don't really show on YouTube. And yeah, leave me a message. Let me know what you like. Let me know what you don't like. Let me know what you want to see different. Um, yeah, otherwise we'll see you on our next video. Should be tomorrow morning. Um, if things get out of hand one way or the other, maybe I'll do a live stream. Another live stream. We did two yesterday. So join us, follow us, and we'll see you on the next one. Thanks so much, guys.